Adobe has just released two great new features for InDesign 2025. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through them both. For those that don't know me, my name is Darren Goddard. So let's jump into the first new feature. So with my InDesign file open, you can see a nice document here, the layout. And I've added a couple of SVG files, which are scalable vector graphics. And these are what we're going to fill with an image using the new Gen Fill feature. First thing we need to do is go up to the window and open up the text to image prompt. So it will default to text to image, but the new one is generative fill and it's in a beta. So when we select the image, it will actually become live. Then we type the prompt in here and I'm gonna stick an orange in here, an orange slice, which will go nice with design. Then we hit generate. Because this is working with the cloud, it takes a little while for these graphics to actually generate, but it does make a good job. So we just have to be a bit patient. Like you know, this has been around for a little while, been able to add images to InDesign, but this is a new feature which has recently come out. And as it says in the prompts on the screen, it works with SVGs and other objects. So here you can see it hasn't completely centered in the frame, so that's not a problem. We can select this and it will center it within the frame. And then we can, we can toggle through, it gives you three options. We can toggle through to the one we like. I think that one's great. The next one, we can select the um, SVG again, type in the prompt. Here I'm going to type in something to go with the actual cocktail here, fresh mint. And then once again, we'll hit generate. Like I said previously, it will take a little while because it's working with the Creative Cloud. And it can depend on your internet connection for the speed of this as well. But as you saw previously, it does make a good result in the end. So it's still working through. Got the um, bar there, letting you know the progress. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. And then we have it just finishing. And this one, it's made quite a good job. But you may notice that if we zoom up, I'm just going to preview now, and then we zoom up. Well, you can see there's a bit of a white edge. That's because this is in a beta still, and it's not 100%. But then I do think it has made quite a good job. And once again, if we want to, we can select through the different versions. That's how you use the new Gen Fill feature within Adobe 2025. So over to the next new feature, which is converting a PDF into an InDesign file. So here we have just a blank. InDesign canvas open, so nothing out, nothing documents, nothing like that. And we go over to the file menu, select open, and we select our PDF like we would an InDesign file and click open from the dialog menu. This will now convert it via Creative Cloud, and here we have the end result. As you can see, we've got text boxes, all the colors there, all the images, but you will notice that some of the line breaks don't look great, and this is because there is still some things you have to tweak once it opens. So literally all we'll need to do is just turn the line breaks over to make it how the original was. Again, this will probably get better in later releases, but I think it's done a pretty good job of converting a PDF into live InDesign file. You know the scenario, client sends a PDF and says, oh, we need some edits done. And it's very difficult unless you open it in Illustrator and that can't be as good as doing it in InDesign, I don't think. So another great new feature from Adobe InDesign. That brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today and the updates by Adobe for InDesign 2025, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel for more content similar to this. Take care and keep creating. I think you'll like this video here next. It's five tips and tricks in Adobe InDesign.